Okay, pilots. What I've got here is a Flatline P38 Lightning. Okay, it's the Model L P38L. Now, don't ask me what differences it is or anything. I, I I don't know. I don't have a clue. You have to read up in the instructions there to find that out. <laughs> All right, speaking of instructions, it tells you to put the tail assembly together first. Okay, now let me tell you a few things about this. All right, if you'll note, a little square here is telling you what screw. Screw A goes on the outside, okay? Now screw A is that right there, okay? Now if you'll notice it has a flat end on it and it is coarse and it is Phillips head, okay? So what happens here in this step is this carbon rod slides through your tail and then you tighten that screw down onto the carbon rod, okay? So it's not really a feel thing with tightening this screw, okay? It's more of a sound thing. You wanna start listening for that carbon rod to start cracking and popping. Okay, so as soon as you hear that little start cracking sound, you stop and then you leave it right there. All right, because that's just merely putting pressure on that carbon rod. All right, now the screw on the other side is, is being called screw B, which is the same size, same screw, it's just got a sharp point on the end of it. Okay, but they only give you one of them. Okay. They give you two of this type, but they only give you one of the short one because there's 21 screws in the bag. And it takes 22 screws to put this thing together. So you've got to maneuver some screws around. Okay. Now this might be different in somebody else's pack. I'm looking for it here. Here we go. But it was this way in mine. All right. You've got five screws mounting your center section, okay, to the the uh, canopy. I'm trying to get it out here. All right, well, it's calling for five. Oh, they spilled out, I needed wood. Let me get them here. Well, I can just get two. All right. There's your screws right there, okay? The short 10 millimeter, the little bit longer 20 millimeter. So what I had to do was, is take the spare that they give me of that short 10 millimeter and the spare they give me of the 20 millimeter. So I'm gonna have to put one of those long ones into my wing not the long ones, but into the canopy for which is calling for a short one to be able to use that short screw in my in my horizontal. Okay. If you didn't understand that. <laughs> I'm taking a spire out of one, using the other and put the, the spire in the other. Oh, okay. So that's later. I just wanted to show you that. That's what I've come across anyway. Alright, that's that's pretty much it. My pilots, when we get into putting that blue box on it, okay, it's getting you, give you instructions. You don't want to put everything. But it's got the flaps that's on your center section right here. It's got two separate servos to it. And it does not come into a Y harness inside here. But it gives you one to put it on. But the two that go from the, on the wing on the outside of the uh, motor, my motor cell, I guess, engine cell, okay. It's got another set of flaps, 
But those flaps come into a real long wire harness that come all the way over here to this hole. Okay. So you've actually got three plugs that you've got to put. And then you put that wire harness on to this one set of flaps. And you put a plug on one side of the box and then a plug on the other side of the box. Because it's got flaps on one side, flap on the other. Aileron on one side, aileron on the other. But, you know, okay. Well, not ailerons. Let's see which one is it. And mainly this thing controls your landing gear. Ailerons and, and uh, is it elevator? I can't see it. Anyway, we'll get to that later too. So, as you can see, it's got some pieces already put on it. All right, I got one of the wing sections over there put on. Over there, but I'm still got to put this one on, so I'm going to show you how we do it. And I've got of course, I've got the horizontal already on, but I've got two screws. Now, I've already glued those two ends on. You just put you some glue on it. Now, what I do, instead of sanding paint off and, and going through all that, I take this right here, pilots, and I just make me some holes in it. See? Just make little, just, just do, 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 like, like a woodpecker going all over the place. And when you put that epoxy in it, or foam tack, it gets down in them little holes there and it holds on. See? Don't worry about holding on to the paint. See? That's the way I do things. Well, that's the way the ends, I've already got them glued on. I mean, you got them, you can glue them on without even worrying about putting the horizontal in. Because that rod just comes through and then you can get to the screw right here. Just like I'm fixing to do. Now these screws are small, but they still big, big, regular size Phillips head screwdriver heads are on. So I mean, uh, you won't always get that screwdriver that fits that screw, Bob. Uh, I wanted to get you down here, but just let me get you. Let me get it started here. I want you to hear this, because if you ain't never heard carbon fiber start cracking, you'll, you'll know. Just bear with me here a second. I'm putting legs on the top of things. Get you closer, but I hope you hear this. Let me go turn the air conditioner off. Maybe that'll help too. Let's see, I think I had to go pretty good ways in. Now it's not gonna be flush with that that piece. See, I'm gonna, all right, you hear that? That gun, I went talking. All right, get the hell out of here. Damn mats. You hear that? Just hear a little pop, like, and you want to leave it right there. See, that's all it needs. Because you also have this screw over here that we got to put in. deep down in there and it's a self-starting screw I'm going crooked here let me hold it let me hold it I'm just gonna get you over here a little bit I'm gonna get 
get that screw to start straight. Now this one goes down and tightens here. Wait a minute, I ain't pushing in here, I'm loose. Nope, didn't do it right. Tell you what, I'm gonna have to loosen this one too. I got too much of a gap here. There we go. I got to get my leg over here and hold this like I did last night. This way. I got to be careful with that tail section there. Nope, that ain't gonna work neither. So this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. And if this day do that, don't get the hell away from me. I'm gonna go to cussing. I'm gonna show you here. If you can see this gap right here. tighten the screw up on it now, see. See there? That's what I'm wanting. And I can't get my leg over with that. I didn't have that other piece glued on there. This is gonna snap my... I'm gonna snap it. I know what I am. No push rods on it yet. The only push rods I put on is I put the flaps on right here. But still don't know if those servos are centered yet. All right, now pilots, I'm gonna do something right quick here. Then we're gonna get to putting the wing on. I'm gonna glue, hold on, glue. I'm put my decals here on the prop. If I can get everything here set up again. So I gotta put that prop together first. So what we do on the prop, you know you got your three pieces, okay? three blades you got one of the side of the props got three holes in it one side's got just two so you want to put that one's got three holes down and make sure you line it up with that center pin get a screw on it now this again has a pretty good size head on this screw. So make sure you get your screwdriver that fits it. Now pilots, don't play around. Put some pressure on that screw. Keep that screw bit in that hole, in the head of that screw. Don't let it slip, don't let it come out. Keep pressure on it. Not going to tighten that knot away yet. This screwdriver here is kind of like a wood countersunk screw bit. 
got more of a point at the end of it than a regular screwdriver does because I feel it say it does. I'm going to put a little bit tight on that one. Back over here on this one. Finish it up. The old plastic burr like that pilots could cause that prop to be out of balance. There, look at it. There it is. Right there, see it. Alright. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna put that on there for looks. That's gonna be a pretty prop in it. It didn't say on instructions anywhere whether you wanted warm water or cold, so I went ahead and used cold. So you don't be stuck together. Air for it, and you got your regular type emblem. Now, I've seen pilots, they'll take a measuring stick and you know, and they, and they make a mark. I've seen one pilot there, he took the actual piece of paper after he cut a piece out of it. used it and he would stick the first set of decals on it where he wanted them wherever he wanted them and he took his piece of paper up here and he took a pen he marked the edge of where that one was he marked the edge on there where that one was and he went all the way around it like that and you can do that if you want to but I think I got good enough eyes on it wing screws is some fat ones. <laughs> they go into brass inserts. So right there is your wing screws. They just, they, they 10 millimeters long, but they just fat. They're just bigger around. Got a bigger head on them. And that's ones we'll be putting in the wing. Yeah. Wing's got a spar already mounted in it. And it slid on, it went on good. But you just had to kind of maneuver those two mounting hard plastic mounts there into their slot and get them going. Once you got them going, they're in there. Now on B25, the specs are kind of close here. It's got larger writing on the 
one side over here. So I'm going to put that like that. Get away from me, please. that one. Yeah, I'm all the way inside here. Now I didn't look and see if he was camera rotating. Let's see. Well I'll be some gun pops if that ain't camera rotating I ain't sitting here. So I'm gonna have to test. I got to do a test before I mount these. I didn't know that. I do now. move too much. Y'all sit there, it won't move, won't move, won't move, and then as soon as it moves, it go five foot.
was just swagging an inch here, an inch there, an inch there, an inch here, you know. That's what I was trying for anyway. It's just the same distance here, a little bit closer in the center. Right, we're good with that. So I had to put this thing on top of a box here to be able to maneuver it around and leave it flat. And I've got after I put this wing on, I've got to flip it over and put the booms screws in. It's got them dadgum rub on decals on this thing. Oh my god. All them nice, beautiful, small, detailed decals that you get. They're worthless. You can't never get them off. You pull paint off trying to get the cover off. I done done it already. On my tail back here. There's a spot on my tail there where I try to get them numbers on there. When I went to peel the cover off, took paint off. There you go. $480 plane. You got shitty ass decals comes with it. And I'll say it too. <clears throat> Durafly put them decals on our planes. Motion. Free wing. Flat line. You gotta be kidding me. All right, here we go. You got a quick connect here. We got a spar, we got a quick connect here. This spar got some paint on it. Just scrape that off. That could be trouble. Quick connects is pretty simple. I'll say that they, they kind of like, uh, they just got to hang around. They just got to hang around right in front of the camera. I mean, right in front of me. Right here. Not in yonder in the kitchen where there's probably crumbs laying all over the place. No, they got to be right here. Right here. <clears throat> Bear with me. Just like a battery plug. can only go on there one way, but you got to make sure you push it on there all the way and let it hear that snap. Okay. Then the compartment, I mean, it, it, it's kind of huge. I mean, you really ain't got no problem getting this thing back up in there. Pretty much the wing will push it back up in there where it needs to go. You just want to have it in a vertical stance. Once you get that maneuvered around where they'll fit, it slides right up on there. They got to be coming in from somewhere, pilots. I have went all around this house looking for holes. I've killed 15 to 20 of them a day in here when I come home from work. And some of them, gun if they still ain't all in the place. Sure. 
mushroom. Don't put no real wrenching on this pile. Because these things are designed to be taken off and on, off and on, off and on. But if you sit there and wrench that thing and plan on taking it on and off, that little brass insert in there will last long. Oh Lord. The next step. <laughs> I've glued these two little pieces on the outside here already. Now we're going to get in to some running some leads here. Now it was fairly simple to get them all lined up and in through the channel. Okay. So that's pretty much you've got to finish that up. Okay. Now I'm going to show you this, but I'm not going to be putting that cover on the top because I'm going to explain that to you. But you don't really have a lot of room to get all these wires done in that channel. So you've got to maneuver, especially those two ESC leads. You've got to maneuver them a little bit to where they on their own. And get these others started, okay. And then make you a little area there where you've moved all your leads over away from them to ESC leads. And then you have room for everything to go in. Like so. Alright, now you put that cover on here. They covered it. Now the boozers has got a technique where they put screws in it. You'll have to watch their video. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just wait. <clears throat> because I've got a serverless pay load drop system and I'm going to be putting right here where the drop tanks were mounted. So this is all going to be left just like it is right now. And I'm just going to be putting this thing together to show you how to put it together but then I'm going to be taking this cockpit back apart and I'm going to have to run the leads for that bomb, uh, bomb drop drop tank wire. And then plus I've got to come in here and get that lead that goes to the LED that I've added to the vertical tail. So that's what pretty much the way your wires is going to be run, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to have one more coming out through here. So let's see. I don't want to pinch that. I'm going to leave it like that. Now, when you put that cell or boom on to the center section, it kind of makes a snap when you get it seated right. Because it's got a, a straight line right here on the front where it lines up, and it's got a straight line here. See? But you got a kind of a round ending up seal right here. So when that thing makes that little snap sign, you got everything lined up. See? And, and it just kind of it, what it's doing, pilots, is it's, it's lining itself up with those screw hard plastic mounts on the inside. Now, watch this one not do it now. Now, you got to be careful with you. Let's see here. I might be pinching something here. It's lining up with, with the actual hard point on the screw. This one ain't doing it. For some reason, it's not wanting to snap in there. Wouldn't you know it? Other than just fail right on top. I mean, it just fell on. I'm 
gonna fall back out that's okay because in the instructions you're gonna have all that glued in now like I said earlier about the length of these screws is gonna be 10 millimeters but I had to swap one of them out and we're just gonna see Wait a minute, I'm wrong. That's that's on the cockpit deck in there. This is the boom. Okay. These are screw B, which is 20 millimeters. There should be four of them. And then you put screw A, which is a 10 millimeter. He's throwing us a curve, our pilots say, throwing us a curve. Throwing us a curve. Okay, it's saying. Screw B, right there, is 20 millimeters, but screw A that goes in the front up here is screw A, which is only 10 millimeters. Lord have mercy, that has throw me a curve there. Now what am I gonna do? spare screw drawer over there. Now we're going to put our 20 millimeters in the back here. And it ain't hitting on nothing. It ain't hitting nothing. What's going on here? Maybe that's in the moment. I told you this wasn't going to be no snap together pilots. <laughs> Let me see if this will hit something. Yeah, they hit something before that went all the way down. Last night, Pops, I had that other stuff on in about five minutes.
these didn't go in and snap them, you know, pinch in anywhere. And then that screw has a different size. I'm going to take this back apart, unless something don't work. Okay. Now then, let's get... Just go ahead and see if I can slide this cockpit on here without running the wires just to kind of show you what's going to be done in here. Now, of course, you have your wires run through. I've got to figure out what I'm doing this for is to figure out if I got screws to do it. <laughs> We've got to get this up in here. Lined up without that LED lead being in the way. Just like so. And I'll be some gun. I'll sit there and leave it and ain't got right back in that hole. Okay, let's see what size screw we got to put in this. Here it is. Okay. Now, screw A. Screw A is supposedly a 10 millimeter piece. Let's see. Down here, if you can see it. It says screw A, and screw A on the description there is a 10 millimeter. And it's supposed to have five of them. got left in my pack is five of those and that's a little bit longer than 10 millimeter I can tell you that much we'll measure it but I'm telling you it's long so if phase five of them goes in there let me look again because my goodness that don't look that deep in them two front ones let me see what it says in the two front ones, just to be sure. Well, 
I'll just get Show you this here. All right, you see these arrows? See here, this is telling you A is this screw, this screw, and this screw. But it has no arrows pointing to those two screws right there, and no other description other than A is screw 10 millimeter. Now the screws that those are pointing at, you can't even see. Okay, you can't even see down in there to the hole. Okay. So I don't know how deep that one is, but I can tell you that these two right here is, is not deep. All right. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna see if I can get at least these three here of the five screws I've got remaining to buy on something there. these two screw holes here to line up. Now that's biting. And it don't seem to feel like it's bottoming out before. I, I can feel the thing coming up through, through there. Let me look right quick. Yeah, it's tightening up good. Got a good seam down there. got some flex in it, but you put them other two screws in it ain't. Now um, I've got two long screws here. It ain't bottoming out. Barely putting a little bit because man, it's just got a. I mean, it ain't real thin, but it ain't but like an eighth of an inch thick of piece of plastic there. So don't really put a wrench in on that one, just kind of get it in there. They all self tapping out. It ain't coming out. And I actually need it to come out. to drop landing gear and do all that pots I've got to hook that box up and I'm gonna have a separate video on all that and then we'll have the landing gear dropping in the ceremony then and I don't really want to mess with my props here too much I'm just gonna put them up here and we'll get into more detail on the direction and you know what I mean Kind of rotating, and then I've got my strobe light mounted, and I've got battery connectors. Why harness is ordered? They ain't they. They still ain't California pots. I ordered these things Thursday last week, and they ain't left the state of California yet. 
but that goes in there like so. And we got a pin back here. And it locks in. Okay. It's got a pin here that it locks into, and it's also got magnets. So I suggest it's got two pretty good strong magnets in it right there. So I suggest that you have your little latch pulled back before you let them two magnets go, like I did. It just pulled it down there, but this is plastic here. It ain't gonna, it didn't make a mark, but you could break your line up pin there off if you kind of let that hit that thing maybe too many times. It's happened. That lines up good. The props look good. There it went. I got a good snow. You know, I ain't got them tied or anything. But that's a pretty good size plane pot. So that's the same wing size, wingspan as 1600 millimeter. Same wingspan. That B-17 right there. Okay. So this ain't no small plane. But there's my build. Now, I don't know. I'm kind of tired. And, of course, let's see here. We got some machine guns here. Now, it's it's got the long ones going on top like so. Short ones are going to little smaller slots. Now, what I, I watched a documentary on the P-38 last night, and they saying that this middle gun here, that this middle gun right here, was a 20 millimeter cannon. That was in, and the other four was 50 calibers. Uh, I don't know what model it was. Pilots that they was talking about that never did really say they just said the P-38 when it oh man you should have seen that first prototype oh my god it was shiny ass aluminum god it was like a mirror lord it was like a mirror going through the, through the sky looked like Wonder Woman's jet <laughs> and I'll be a son of a gun they made a, a record time running uh, trip from California to New York and the dadgum air traffic controllers in New York wouldn't let him land and he ran out of gas and held, had to belly in the, the prototype for the first P-38 they ever flew. Oh, God. Kelly Harrison was upset. He was mad. <laughs> okay, pilots. That's our P-38 so far. I'll get a word. We'll, we'll wear it up in, in the next video and get the landing gear down and get those counter-rotating props going right. Get our guns glued. Get our lights. The lights! The lights! <laughs>